turns green. Okay, looks like we are working, allegedly. Let's go over to the tube of you and take a watches because it says excellent connection. So apparently I'm excellently connected. It's good to know. Da, 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 da. There we are. Hey, day, everybody. Pips in it. I always have to wonder when we're going to go live, and then we're live when I don't think we are yet. We've been live <laughs> for a while. But... All righty. So, uh, another little bit of drips and drabs of box opening things. Oh. So, I first want to let you know that um, Anton was home yesterday making candles. So, he made 12 different kinds. This I is did. Angel's Influence. That one's Angel's Influence. And this one is meditation. Meditation, and this one is balsam fir, just in time to make your home smell like pine tree. Yes, yeah, so have, look, have a snort of that, isn't that? Doesn't that remind you just of like being in the forest there? So another twelve kinds went in stock. So mm. now we have. Um, I'm I'm busy catching up on candles. Prosperity and one love and lavender and harmony and some elementals and. Ascended Masters, Angels Influence, and all that good stuff. It's all good stuff. You have so, some lovely Sagittarius, smells. Sagittarius, of course, because it's the Sag birthday time of year, so we made Sag. And, um... Made an extra one of Sag. Release, relax, renew. So we got 12 more kinds. 12 kinds. All the right, next then. thing I want to talk about is this. No. It, oh! It has a Rived. A Rived. There's a whole box of books. UK. Yes. It is a novel, but it's based on, um... A real story. It is a real. It's a true o story. Operation Cone of Power. Cone of Power. It has long been rumored that the eve of August 1940, a coven of witches gathered in the New Forest, mm. and that will sound familiar to some people who know their Gardnerian history, to create an immense surge of magical forces to aid Britain's fight in World War II. In September 1939, Gerald Gardner amateur anthropologist and collector of weaponry began his training as an initiate witch with enthusiasm he did then the war was announced and the future of britain became uncertain the threat of invasion from germans army from the german army loomed even closer gerald put his efforts and knowledge to use in the home guard along with pieces from his private collection Little did he know it be his newly honored magical skills that gave him, newly honed magical skills that gave him and his friends the power they needed to stand their ground. Stand your this ground. book is a blend of occult historical fiction, uh, his occult of the occult, geez, and it's historical easy for you to fiction, say. <laughs> and has been made possible by the skills of the much acclaimed esoteric novelist Mariah Hodgkinson. Moira, Moira. Moira. Oh. I can't see it's a, today. All right, it's very you, shiny. I can tell I it's like it's flaring the all over the place. Extensive research of the historian of witchcraft Philip Heselton. So, so I would like to let you guys know that we are Zoom hosting mm. Moira and Philip. We are on the eleventh, which is a Sunday. Mm. Um, the book officially comes out on the fourth. We have some here. We do. And you may enjoy the virtual author event uh for the price of the book and seven dollars a mere seven bucks so it'd be 25 dollars and you can have the book and you will get a book plate signed by authors yes you will and you will get to um talk to them all about this historical happening and you know what it's actually a really bloody good read yeah so there it is. So, there's so that. It, it's um, and it's interesting if if I may just do a little tangential thing. Sure. Gerald Gardner's first book was actually written under the pen name Skyer and it was called High Magic's Age. High hey, Magic's you Aid. Can't talk that either. I guess what's I'm you breaking guys are the teeth. Picking up on my stutter. Oh, I'm my breaking God. the teeth in for a friend. <laughs> and that's my excuse, and I'm sticking to it. So, so there's a there's a kind of bizarre homage there because although it was ostensibly a work of fiction, High Magic's Aid, it really was a straight up. This is the way, this is the way we do High Magic do within a Gardnerian coven kind of thing. Although it wasn't Gardnerian then, was it? Did you want my knife? No. Just because no. you know, women with sharp things scare me, especially if it's ginger. <laughs> Oh, Front she's a stabby kick. No, no stabbies, no stabbies, no oh, stabby that's stabbies. That's a lovely poster board. Look at that. Oh, shiny. All right, we got some new. What decks we got here. now? Well, 
Well, we got this little package. Let's see what this is. It's a package. A Jean-Luc. Jean we, we have a Jean-Luc of cards. Well, let's see what they got. It's uh, the Pastoral Tarot. Oh, that is, uh, I think we've got that one, haven't we? Have we got one before? I don't this think like so. a black and white that one, or like the hermetic. white and black one. All right. So oh, it's the glow in the dark tower. Glow in the dark. Ah! Oh, I love it. So, so now you can, read in now the, you can actually you can read, read in the pitch black. if you don't have black. a candlelight. All right. So oh, this is the temperance card. It's only moderately radioactive. It's perfectly safe. Well, they're um, the fronts and the backs. Oh, I, I, we haven't. Oh, they. Oh, the. Uh, no, this is wicked cool. Whose brilliant idea was I this? I don't know, but they're very cool. Oh, I gotta get me one of them. Have to have I gotta get me one of them. <laughs> Featuring Roger, the power gotta, goes out. I gotta win. So it's just U.S. Games has decided to put them out. I, I just said, what a... Carol based on Pamela Coleman Smith. It is. They've taken the black and white sketches, and they've literally just done them as glow in the dark. <laughs> Super. Well, oh, how fun. You, I can't get that on camera. We'd have to no. put everything dark, and then you wouldn't see anything. That's really spiff. Well, there's only four four of these. Is anybody saying anything on the tube of you? Not yet. I can't Not see anything. Not yet. Gosh, they're all sleeping, aren't they? It's Friday. It's Poets' wake Day. Up, That's what people, it is. Wake up, wake up. We got glow well, in the dark, too. I have three people watching me on... Uh, on Book of Face. On the Book Aren't of Face. Cool. Glow in the Dark Terry. Got to, how much are they? Well, I wish I knew. <laughs> Some beans, my lord. There's no. Uh, They've got to be like 28. I'm going to take a wild guess, aren't they? You have to look on the. On the Glow in the Dark Terry, 24.95. Oh, cheaper than I thought then. I was off by three well, bucks. No book. All right. Well, come on, at this point. If you're going to read in the dark, you ought to know what the cards mean. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. Oh, yeah, you can't. The, well, it would be hard to have the book glow in the dark, I suppose. Glow in the dark book. All right, these are oh, no. Love. <laughs> love who you are. Love who you are. Mm. So these are like a oracle affirmation deck. There's an owl. Oh, oh honor your wisdom. Okay, Jen Jen's going to steal that. <laughs> immediately. I'm just going to steal the one. Gather your nuts. <laughs> Squirrel. <laughs> Hello, Jen. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Oh, did you used to watch Eleven's oh, every day? Oh no, I love it. Gather oh, your nuts. Caution, poets at work. Oh, poets, yeah, right. Oh dear. Embrace. Oh, embrace what is. Alright. Well, I think gather your nuts is my favorite. <laughs> Somebody's <laughs> calling to complain sure. already, I imagine. Sure. How can I help you? Oh, that's cute. Isn't it? You gotta love it. Alright, there. What else we got? We've got this new one. Which Wild is Woman cool. Rising has a wolf on it. An oracle deck by Angie Sullins and Jenna Della Grotalgia. Oh, they're kind of cool. They're sort of like photorealistic art, isn't it? Yes. Oh, yeah, sorry. It's all good. How all cool right. is that? So these are Pretty. called Wild Woman Rising. Mm. This is. Oh, really they're gilded on the edge as well. Look, look at that. Oh, lovely. Oh, shiny. Yeah. Remember the little things? Gather your loyalties mm. and mm. claim your sovereignty. She looks very Ooh, Celtic. Hello. Well, I think Medusa she is. Isn't she? Ish, ish, even as well. All right, so that's mm. that. That's them. They're cool. All right, and. And wait, there's more. We got. We get four of every new deck whenever the. We new do. Deck's we have. Coming. We have like a standing order. As soon as it comes out, they send us them. Oh, these are cool. Pastoral Terror. I saw that one. It's oh, very it pretty. Oh, illustrated by Lisa Hunt. Oh, excuse me. I'll she's try. she's a really good. Come come on, artist. sort yourself out. Oh, it's having a word now. These are beautiful. They're um, you've got a. Well, I'm trying to. Every time I do so, she moves something and makes it all ridiculously shine. Right. She's in fields of lavender there. Oh, well, these are interesting because they are not portrait. They are landscape. Oh, interesting. Oh. Okay. So you've got the world. Okay. The, interesting. The empress, she has her feet on stone. Hmm. The five of wands are all the goats telling you stories. So there's a like an homage to Rider Waite there. Mm. The Eight of Cups. I'm trying to get pictures of these. I'm not doing very well here. The Six of Swords. Three people in a boat. And I absolutely love 
The Ace of Pentacles with a Cali on there. Yeah. Aww. All right, yeah. so these are really cool. They are a tarot because they're 78 mm. cards. Here's some more pictures on the back. You can see the magician. $31.95. They're $31.95. They're, they're a bit of a classy bit. bit of illustration, that, to be they honest. They come with a, a linen, linen pouch. pouch. Excuse us. And an and a, a illustrated book. 180 page illustrated book, tell your friends. Those as well. those are really I don't cool. think they'll last. I think I'm going to leave those up on the counter. Oh, look, there's little chipmunks on the back of uh, here. Chipmunks. It's a chipmunks. The backs are really sweet. We don't have chipmunks. Well, shout out to Lisa because these are awesome drawings. Yeah, they're beautiful yeah. illustration, absolutely. So that's us and, today. Uh, Is that projects. us? Really? That's Phoenix that. Flames book and. 12 more candles to fill the wall. Yeah. And we're working on the candles. And you might also go over and have a peek at the sprays cabinet because we put oh, that Oh, she'll do that then. Too. I will I will wander over to the sprays cabinet because I have been making sprays. As you can see, we tried to fill the entire cabinet. So I don't think we're out of anything right now. I know people were saying we need money sprays and we need positive energy and we made rose water. The rose water is brilliant. It actually has our own rose petals in it uh, that we grow here at the shop, which is pretty cool and trendiferous. And we've got all of our, um, the chakra mists are available individually and as a kit. Um, so that's really cool. So it's a nice little present for somebody if doing energy work, you can activate or, you know, harness the energies of the chakras using these little things that we've made which is really cool and trendy for us so you go we have all manner of yummy mists in here um if you're somebody who suffers with uh, you know asthma or whatever or in an environment where you can't really burn anything then we've got you know sage and sage and cedar and i'm looking to see if i can source some environmentally uh sound you know responsibly harvested palo santo oil if i can get some um and if i can i'll make um sage and palo santo spray because i've been asked would that be possible so i'll give it a go so there you go that's us we've made all those and right, we have lots of peeps. oh hello you're Don't watching you oh give a gnome a home this is this is look at these you have a yuletide noom sending love kiss me under the mistletoe baby she I like check. smooches. He's cute. Which one's smooches? He's got all the mistletoe is on his hat. Is that smooches? Oh, yeah. it is. Hello, smooches. <laughs> he's got, and there's a, what's this dude here? Something hippies are magic? What's he, What's this one say? Hippies you are, are magic. magic. <laughs> you are magic. Well, it looks kind of like hippies hippie. Are magic. It looks a bit hippie, doesn't it? He's like, hey, man, hippie dude. All right. And so this is hugs and kisses. Uh, and call and sign up love. for the virtual book signing. Oh, yes, yes, yes. With the authors on. I will come around here. And you'll get a book. A book. And you'll get it signed. And you'll get to be able to talk to Moira and Philip. Mm. So, oh. And don't forget to say Operation Cairn of Power. Cairn of Power. Cairn of Power. Operation Cairn of Power. Peace out. All right, everybody. Love I'm going to figure out how to happy, happy. fix all this um, lot up. Oh, oh, sorry. Let me put that down there for a minute. Hang on. Let's bring this back to earth. Oh, sorry. It's just uh, have a mind of its own today, doesn't well, it? Well, it's me. I have to go turn this off. All right, then. Bye. Bye, y'all.